For the entire PCB reverse engineering process, after you get the board, the first step is to use a high definition digital camera to take photos of both the front and back sides and then use Photoshop to process the images and handle the horizontal evaluation values. The second step is to print out the photos and stick double-sided tape on them. The third step, Remove each component from the board one by one. Record the model numbers, reference designators, various parameters, including the brand and voltage, package type, and so on. Create a table and enter all the data you just recorded into an Excel spreadsheet. Also tally up the quantities used. Stick the removed components back onto the photo in their original positions and orientations. Once all the components have been removed, we end up with a board with no components on it. Clean off all the solder and flux from the board and use a high definition scanner. Scan it into the computer and then move on to the next step. In the PCB design software, import the background image we just scanned in. Convert it into the static routing layer and mechanical layer. Also create things like package vias and so on. Both the front and back sides need to be done. We use a laser, sand or chemicals to remove the solder mask, then scan it again and trace the circuits as they originally were. If it's a multi-layer board, we then need to grind off these two layers. Taking an 8 layer board as an example, after grinding off these two layers, we move on to the 2nd and 7th layers. After finishing the 2nd and 7th layers, we then do the 3rd and 6th layers, and finally the 4th and 5th layers. After we have completed every single layer, we establish the network and interconnections, then generate a PCB file and convert it into an AD or other recognizable format. As for the component list, we can also check it again for accuracy. Are there any mistakes or omissions? What should we pay attention to when copying a board? During the copying process, the images must be handled properly and aligned accurately. The size and dimensions must match the original board and every hole must be precisely aligned. Another important point is that the component list must be clear and detailed with all information thoroughly recorded for future production. This will save a lot of unnecessary trouble later on.